SBFalcons.com. Here at Claire Nieder after a thrilling 1-0 overtime win over 6th ranked Western Washington. Claire, your thoughts on the win? I thought it was a great win. We were fighting hard the whole time. We had them locked in there half a lot and a lot of chances. And then it was awesome to get the result at the end. Really hard battle, uh, tight game, real defensive struggle until probably the last 10 minutes of regulation. There was a lot going on there, and your team, both teams had some chances, yeah. including McKenna Ritz found herself open. What did you see on that play at the end? Um, well, Chloe did a really great job to get to the end line and save it, and then I was kind of running near post, and McKenna always does a good job of being in those spots, and it bounced a little unlucky, but she was in the right spot, and she gets a lot of goals, so it's good. So uh, because of that win to overtime, boy, early, just 11 seconds of that overtime, there was a whistle in the box. Western was awarded a penalty kick. Thankfully, your goalkeeper, Riley Travis, saved it. What did you see on that play? Um, well, Riley's amazing, obviously, and I just could tell that she was confident, and I just kind of had a feeling that she was going to save it. She does really well on those, and the ball went to her left side, I think it was, and she did a great job of poking it out, and then Samia was there sliding in, and we got the ball cleared and going the other way, so it was an amazing save. And Without that amazing save, this game is over, yeah. uh, and you don't have an opportunity to be the hero in this one. <laughs> uh, instead, about uh, less than, a little less than five minutes later, you get a golden goal. Describe the play. Um, <laughs> I don't even really remember exactly what happened, but I know Lauren had it on the right side, and she always does a really great job of beating those players and just getting in line and getting re really great crosses in. And I saw it go by the defender. I think I took a touch and then found the goal. So, and then it was just craziness. We were all screaming and happy. <laughs> sure was. It was really a bang bang play. You did take a touch, get, bought a little bit of space for yourselves. Did you have a chance to, to pick a spot on goal or are you just trying to put that on frame? I just tried to go where the keeper wasn't because <laughs> I haven't really, I've been kind of shooting it to the keeper a lot lately and finally just placed it. So. Just Thank staying calm was good. Thankfully you did. Really big win for this team. You ranked tw uh, 25th. Uh, this was a battle of the only two undefeated teams in the conference. Uh, thoughts on now where, you, where you're standing in league play? Well, we did lose to Western Oregon um, yes, that, a couple yeah. weeks ago, but I think it was a really good response, and Western's always a really good rival of ours, so... The atmosphere is great. <laughs> now we have to do it again in a couple weeks. <laughs> As a forward, what is it like when goals are scarce in a game like this? In fact, they're non-existent during regulation. Um, to know that one is probably going to do it, does that change the way you play at all? Um, I think for this game, there were so many chances that were so close. We had some that we had a bunch of corners down at the end where it was just a scramble and it almost went in so I think that we could all sense that it was coming and in the spring there was a lot of games where well all the games we would get at least four goals so it's a different challenge for us to take those moments and have any kind of win is better than no tie question. so. I want to give some props to your defense uh, this is a very good Western Washington team uh, usually a very good attack it wasn't until the 97, 93rd minute that they put a shot on goal that Riley Travis needed to save. Uh, why was your defense so effective tonight? They're just really good at covering each other. Um, we obviously miss Mariah. She was a big player for us, but I think Landry and then in this game, Emmy as well, they did a really great job of stepping up and just playing confident and holding it down, and I think they cover each other really well. Um, and Mads is always there to help out. Great. Uh, boy, this uh, your team now heads on the road for four straight games. What's going to be the key to take this momentum from this game and this home stand and bring it on the road with you? Um, I think we just need to take every game and approach it like we did for this game. This is always one that we are really excited for, and we need to make sure that whoever we're facing, we're going to be this intense and excited. Claire, congratulations on the golden goal and the victory. Thank you.